Last time, we were murknapped and dumped into this Phantom Realm. Antimatter particles, you say? There you are, Tetra. You aren't that difficult to locate. Indeed it is. No Merc spotted yet. Really? We were brought here against our will. Why would they blame us then? Possible. Some of them may be Robovores as well. As long as we stick together, we should be mostly fine. Phantom Expedition Psychic Tetra is ready. Good question. How can we breed here? Another one of these red spots. Remember this for later. Hmm? Bell is feeling something again. The signal reception on this voice is terrible. One of them in fact is right in front of us. Before we initiate the next battle, let me do some upgrades. Upgrade the power and SP cost on this. More shield. Multiplier is really awesome, and I'll save up the rest of my SP for later. One of each. Yes! It's one of each Merc type we've encountered up to this point. No shield, I'm afraid. I desperately need some more shields. I really need the shield here. Tetra first. Thank you, Tetra. You're awesome. Not enough. Oops. You can perform a flame burst as well. Only one left. Echo 
Echo Slash plus the two times skill modifier is amazing. A B ranks fair. Sweet, we found a neural linked. Meter boost past the skill obtained. What do you do? Okay, why not? Sure, why not? This Kyrogate exudes a strange aura. This time, a sense of unease. Time for the next battle. One of each again. If only there is a way I could fast forward through these attacks. Besides, every time I hit a save point, it recharges. So even if I charge in the middle, it doesn't reset the Echo Slash damage. Hmm. It does look a bit familiar here. We even have the tombstones in the same locations. This can't be a coincidence. Two Moleculoids and one Grimrock. C ranks fair. More tombstones. And this is where Bella's mom's grave was. Like the Moleculoid in the previous episode. Let's not go there just yet. New Neuralink, Crimson Aura. Twenty SP regen for three turns. Yes, please. I can only equip up the three red support skills. Fine, I'll take out Invis. So I guess we'll take healing. Not a red spot. Just as I thought, a boss is coming up. We can tell from the skull icon on the ground. It's just like Star Force in that way. We meet at last, Elite Merc. Kronos. Why did he bring us here in the first place? And why specifically us? 
Why not some other Lunex warriors or a scientist? I don't think they're a Robovore. Then we'll just find another one. Merc Buster Tetra is ready. Battle routine, set, execute. Um, I guess that worked. Very well. Perfect. Like the Hyper Bee Stinger missiles. Well, the time gun this attack was very forgiving. Echo Slash! Pew! Echo Slash! That's fine. We'll take him out very soon. Let's go full shield. Lux combo time. Shield, shield, sword. Wrecked. All right. If I went for no damage, I would have easily S ranked this fight, but I wish to finish this faster. Protect. It's only four of them. We can take them. We have enough spare items to do so. Tetra, pull out your buster. Start firing your giant laser.
and that sent us back to the real world. Kronos sacrificed themselves to protect us. Indeed, Tetra. Remember, poor communication kills. Again, we were brought there against our will. It's not even that we wanted to go there in the first place. Oddly familiar? Could they be related to her mom? Yeah, it's only chapter one. We start this chapter trying to go to the spaceport, only to get sidetracked by a bunch of other things. Where does this lead to? Ah, this takes us directly back to the Phantom Realm. More of these gates are opening up over time. Alright, we started this whole chapter wait. Nice! Two kilobytes! Nothing here. There are mercs out here as well. Let's take care of them while we're at it. Aw, it's only one Grimrock. We'll be fine. Never underestimate a Lunex warrior. And we're out.
I like the updated background showcasing how we just defeated a boss. Double Team Cannon Three hundred fifteen pounds. Impressive. Obvious liar. Oh, that's her eye! And here I titles the helmet. The Legacy of Cosmic Network, a fan game actually in development by the same developer as this game. It sure is. Go ahead, shoot. Perhaps, or we'll end up destroying them all. Ah, I'm sorry for your loss. We'll do our best, ma'am. Remember these boxes with notes on them? With lists of inputs? Left down left. Left down, left, right. Left down, left, right, up. And our reward is... 100 skill points. They did come in handy. Hmm. ZX. Now, back at the berry facility. There was this Hearth's Cube. In order to unlock it, I need to use the lasers to blow up in the container. And here's our first HP booster. The first thing I need to do is rotate these laser deflectors. And then fire the laser. Mwahahahaha. Bingo. One hundred Astro Tech. Now for the second puzzle. I need to redirect the laser blast so it destroys the control panel. Okay, we're gonna have to pull this up. 
Is there anything that can go left? Perfect. And this can fire down. This will fire right. This will fire up. And this will fire left. Let's give it a shot. Perfect! It's open now. Now before I enter that, let's purchase all these items. UT chip and HP booster. Wow, Sunny, this has gone creepier. I only hear the sounds of machinery in the background. Just more trash. We made it to the other side of the storage facility. Another skill booster. Let's apply all the upgrades right now. The skill booster, HP boosters, and the shield booster which I should have done before episode 3. Another shield booster. I should have realized this earlier. Another red speck. Let's do some upgrades. Good to me. We began this chapter preparing to embark on our ship, but got sidetracked by a bunch of other things. Next time, we'll embark on our ship and pay a visit to Dr. Thomas. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.